everybody's Claire from Amanda Hudson's and this is an unboxing video and in my box I have two different things, well three technically. I have items from the annual catalogue, I have items from the brand new July to December catalogue which is available from the 3rd of August and I also have items from Celebration which will be running I think it's August and September. So let's have a look. A really rather full box. Um, I don't normally get this much stuff, but this is actually uh, my craft budget for um, July. Nope, for June, July, August, and September. Although having said that, I may be getting <laughs> another little box in August because I really, really want. Um, the paper pumpkin that's available so I am going to show you what I've got so as I said it's a combination so what I might do is go through and pull out um, the annual and the Christmas catalogue items on here and then pull out the um, celebration uh, items for a different video so I'm going to move this out of the way, I shall be back in a second. So to start off with, we've got something really dull but necessary. So I have got uh, some card which I require. So I've got Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Pale Papaya, some Basic White in Thick, um, as I've got some Thin and I've got some A, uh, sorry, I've got some 12 by 12 but no Thick. So I'm still using up my uh, Whisper White but I'm moving over slowly. I've got some fresh fuchsia, although that does look very much like Highland Heather in that pot. I've got some real red, because you can't have Christmas without real red. Some polished pink. I seem to be using polished pink and fresh fuchsia a lot recently, even though they're not really sort of my sort of colours. And then I've got Misty Moonlight because I am drawn to this colour and use it a lot. Um, along with, I seem to be slightly just to, <laughs> addicted to just jade as well at the moment. So I have got some card stock and I think when you make an order it's really important not to forget paper then I have got the different blends so again I've got soft succulent even evergreen pale papaya polished pink and fresh visa and um, I wanted to do some uh, cards and then realized I didn't actually have the blend yet so they should be going in my blends storage and then this is one of the sets which i really liked from the annual catalogue um and i thought that although the july to december catalogue has got some really gorgeous sets i just loved the sentiments and also i loved the matching dies so i shall be doing a play with these and they're actually smaller than I thought they were going to be. I don't know why I thought they were going to be bigger. But that's fine. We can work with that. And so this is actually part of a bundle. So it has dies. So let's have a look at these dies. And paper. So I'm going to have to have a play with this, aren't I? So it has dies. Let's have a look here. Which are some gorgeous and I love this. I can't wait to cut this out in some metallic paper. And um, I know that quite a lot of sets have got different foliage in, but I think this foliage is really quite cute. I love these and you can never have enough sprigs. Um, and I love that it corresponds to the... Um, sprigs in the stamp set and the, this is actually smaller I think than some of the sausage, uh, sausage some of the stacking dies that I've got so this time round when I was looking at the uh, stamps and dies I was looking at things that I don't have already in my stash so if it's something similar to something I've already got I didn't get it so let's close this up and I will be playing with that later and then I've got the paper here. So let's have a look. So 
So I think it's for um of each piece of paper. In fact, no, there isn't. Two, three, seven, eight. So there's eight of that with this on the other side. And I assume there must be eight of this. Yep, and then that's got this on the other side, which is really gorgeous. I like that one. Then we've got some reds with stripes, which is cool. This is probably one of my favourite papers. And this has got snowflakes on the back, which is perfect. I have been making cards using stencils to create trees. But these trees are gorgeous. And this is the back. I like stripes, but I think I'll be utilising the trees a lot. And of course, the good thing about this is that it's available till next May, April, May. So you can create Christmas cards with this next year as well. And then it's got foliage on the back on this side. And I don't really think that's too Christmassy. I think that'd be fine for a birthday card. And I think that's probably a good, a good thing about this set. So that's not too Christmassy either. Obviously, trees. But the stripes aren't too Christmassy. Um, and I don't really think you can say that they're actually necessarily Christmas trees. And again, we've got snow. Okay, maybe those two are Christmassy. Um, that isn't Christmassy. That's just stripes. Um, maybe that one is Christmassy. But again, that isn't necessarily Christmassy. And that isn't really necessarily Christmassy, and neither is that. So actually, I think this is probably a good through the year designer series paper, as well as just for Christmas. I hadn't really noticed that. I think the way that it's set out in the catalogue does make it a bit difficult to tell. But that is a beautiful set of papers. So my next item that I got is Artistically Inked and this is actually um, a set which will go with the paper pumpkin that I like. Um, I love Happy Birthday and never have enough Happy Birthday cards. I just love this sort of abstract gorgeousness and I love the font. And I've seen so many gorgeous cards with this and the paper. Now I didn't order the paper because it was on back order when I ordered this. But I will be playing with these and so we'll stamp those out in a moment or two. Now this also has a die set and you probably would have seen this around. So let's have a look. So I can't wait to have a play with these. So this is gorgeous. I love this. I've seen so many amazing cards for using this. Again, foliage. We've got bits that will cut out the stamps. And it's quite clever that they're all together. So I shall be having a play with this. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite things in the catalogue. And hopefully when there's more papers in, I will be ordering some of those. I'll probably, come, I'll probably order those with my... Um, paper pumpkin next month okay so I thought we would look at the papers from the new catalogue first so you'll notice ooh, my detail glue you will notice and I never realized actually that I've got my mess to the side on here so you will notice that I am very much a metallic sort of layered foil um, card maker with some of my Christmas cards for my Crimbo challenge. So there was no silver foil in the catalogue. However, there is some silver foil which is speciality in the mini or the July to August. Sorry, July to December, even though it's coming out in August. So this is the foil. So there's one sheet of each 
Now you might not be able to see, or maybe you can with the crazy lights in here, that this is actually textured. Which I think will make some gorgeous cards. This is actually not textured, but it's more of metallic and dull. And this is sort of a more a sort of what we would expect from a silver mirror. I'm going to put this back on the top. Isn't that gorgeous? Then we've got the brush metallics, which they had last year in last year's catalogue. So this is a returning fave. Now, I didn't get that last year, and I'm just causing chaos. Um, and I've just given you a sneak peek of the last one the papers that I ordered from the catalogue. So um, we've got some gold, got some coppery and again this is more brushed than sort of flat. Then we've got like a champagne colour which will look gorgeous with the tidings dies. So last but no need least bottom one, actually I'm going to put that back in in a minute, um, was one of my favourite uh, papers. Um, so this is the Peaceful Place 12 by 12 Specialty Design Series paper. Now I didn't order any of the other parts of the suite, I don't think. Oh, maybe the sequins, which I will show you in a minute. Um, and this is gorgeous and in my own life it's amazing. So we've got some like silvery snow on pine trees and then on the back we've got some half shot pattern um obviously these are two cuts up into six by six cards so they've got different parts in each different bit and i love these trees and i love the fact that you can change these to whatever color, color that you want so there's two of each one so um you could choose like separate parts, you could cut it down, you don't have to use it as it is, but that is stunning. Then we've got some gorgeous snowflakes, and I don't think in a million years that you would be able to recreate that paper using embossing powder. Sorry, I'm, I'm just tidying up because I just dropped everything on the floor. And that is just stunning, so that will be on a few more cards. Then we've got a gorgeous grey check. I'm not really sure what I would do with this. Um, it's a bit too crazy crazy for me. But I do think it's a gorgeous pattern. And then on the back we've got some trees. And again, that's very me-esque paper. I'll probably use that side for this. And then we've got some gorgeous crazy dots on this one. And then... Um, on the back of this one, we've just got some, um, we have got some cabins. So this is similar to the actual stamps that are in this suite. If you look at my catalogue, it's stunning, but I'm still in love with this one. So I want to play with that. And then lastly, we have got Gorgeous, gorgeous sheet, which I could imagine you could split down the middle. Um, and then on the back of here, we have got some gorgeous sort of abstract stripes. But I think I would imagine that everyone's going to be using this side. Um, and probably if I was making my normal size cards, I'd cut off the bits at the bottom and then cut it at six by six and then trim it down from there and then have them. Um, probably my normal 14.3, um, 14 by 10 centimetres, which will give you uh, six from this piece of card. So those are gorgeous. Now they actually have in their suite some gorgeous things and one of them is these um, sequins. So these are subtle shimmer sequins. And I fell in love with these. And I don't know whether you can see. 
they are quite similar to some of the sequins that we had last year but not quite the same so we've got pearl essence we've got some silvery bits and pieces and these are perfect for putting on christmas well christmas cards or any any sort of celebration cards because they're a bit more subtle hence the name so let's move this paper out of the way so sequins and then we have got some gold holly leaves which i thought would look gorgeous on cards and add a little bit of link but there was also a reason I got these which I thought they may go with the uh, celebration paper but we shall check that when I have a look at their celebration papers but these are stunning absolutely stunning and then I've got some real red ribbon now I do have a collection of real red ribbon but unsurprisingly I have to go through a lot of it for Christmas so um, that's just some double stitch satin ribbon and that will be featuring on a lot of my Christmas cards so then I have got some brush metallic adhesive backed dots which will go with the brush metallic um, papers which are stunning and then lastly I have got some matte decorative dots so these are in different colours and they will look perfect on cards all year round so they're actually uh, ombre so they're not quite as dark as each other so while we're looking at um, embellishment I thought we would have a look at the decorative masks So these are the new masks, so there's a gorgeous um, snowflake one. I am a little bit disappointed that there's no sort of more subtle snowflake ones, but that's quite cute. We've got a stripe. We've got some, I think that's supposed to be holly. And then we've got some dots. So those are quite cute and I shall be utilising those in some of my designs. Boo. I shall be adding those to my sense of collection. Right, so I thought we'd do a few of these and then maybe look at them in more detail. So I have got, um, okay, so the first thing I've got is these In Your Words, which are all sentiments that um, demonstrated the vast for. Um, and I think this is a super cute, and I will do a more uh, in-depth video on this when I am making some cards with it. But that is fantastic. Now, um, one of the things that I've re always wanted is some bauble dies. So I've got this gorgeous stamp set here, which has some gorgeous Christmas sentiments and some baubles um, and the to and from, which are very important. Some snow and some uh, and a ribbon. And then they have some matching dies, which are stunning. Let me just grab the older rows. So these are perfect for um tags and also you can snip out the sentiments and add them to different cards and then so there are uh, sorry two insides for each shape and then there's one outside then of course we've got some gorgeous bows and i think that's i'm not sure what that's for i think it's to put a ribbon in uh to your card so that is probably one of my favourite sets that I have seen for a while. Then um, every year I try to look for a more con a con traditional Christmas set uh, for people who enjoy cards which are more, uh, well, true meaning of Christmas orientated. So um, I thought this set was gorgeous. Can't wait to try colouring it in. Um, 
and I think that the sentiments are really pretty and the dyes are stunningly amazing um, and there's some gorgeous inspiration in the catalogue and I'm going to try doing a double aperture I think or a window dye with some of these so that sounds fun and then my probably my favourite stamp set and dies in the catalogue is this which is World Word of Cheer and it's got a pretty normal um, stamp um, and some gorgeous sentiments but then it has an amazing die set. So this is the die set, let's move this out because it's causing chaos. But um, it has happy and then the happy outline, which is gorgeous. It's got um, the outline for the flowers, which is a really cute poinsettia. We've got stars in different shapes, which would look gorgeous. And then um, we've got dots if you want to add um, interest to your card. And then this is what I am in love with. It's got the cheer as well. So they cut out separately and then you can layer those into here. And then you've got foliage again, which you can never have enough of. And then obviously this bit cuts out this bit. So it's very, very exciting. And in fact, they might even be holly berries, but you can make a number at once rather than having to cut them out multiple times. So that is one. And finally, she says, so I fell in love with this stamp set as soon as I saw it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love the sentiments. Love the fact that it is inside and outside sentiments. So I think I find sometimes I'm finding it difficult to find uh, sentiments for the inside of cards. Um, I, sometimes I feel like some of them are specifically for the outside of cards. So I absolutely adored this. I thought it was absolutely fabulous. Um, and the thing that I really wasn't sure about, though, was whether to get the dies that um, come in a bundle with this. And I decided I was going to. And there's actually two dice, sorry, two dice sets, two um, stamps. But I only got one of the stamps. I might get another one later on in the year, maybe October, November, um, when I have some more craft budget. And what I wasn't sure about was the dies, but I then decided that I don't have any like this. So I decided that I was going to get these two. So this makes like a giant um, bow. And then we've got pine cones. And then this one will sit on top. So it's one of those huge sets. But as I said, um, I got this because I don't have anything like this in my stamp collection or die collection. And when I was going through and looking at what I wanted to get from the catalogue this time, I was looking at things that um, are different to my uh, stash, shall we say, because I'm sure I don't need the same stamp set again and again and again and again. So that's all the items that I ordered from the um, annual and the autumn winter catalogue. And as I said, I will do another video, which will be uh, celebration items. So thank you very much for pressing play. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I am in love with this set. I think I should be playing with this shortly. Um, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.